For RCR Wireless News, my name is Sean Kinney, and I'm here with Hemant Malik of Ericsson to discuss how Ericsson's facilitating operators' deployment of 5G. So I know that's a broad question, but maybe you can just uh, start at a high level, and then I'd really like to focus in on this transport element. Yeah, sure. Thanks. I think 5G, we all know, is a buzzword. Everybody is planning to deploy 4G networks as fast, as quickly as possible. So. Yeah. It's an ecosystem, right? It's not only the radio network, it has to be radio, the transport, and the 5G code as well for end-to-end -end, uh, service delivery, right? For the efficient delivery of all the use cases that 5G is gonna throw up, right? Whether it is a uh, enhanced uh, broadband experience for consumers, whether it's gonna be massive IoT or it's gonna be uh, critical IoT. So everything needs, the whole ecosystem has to work in tandem to deliver the efficient services. So that's the 5G ecosystem and 5G is all about. And especially for the transport, I think uh, when operators will move towards 5G, the 5G radio networks will throw a lot of challenge on the transport itself. Uh, we call it 5Cs, so the five challenges. So number one is the capacity because we anticipate eight times, eight volts data growth uh, when 5G is launched. And then of course is the connectivity because there is going to be three to four times more number of sites, and then all the sites have to be connected with the 5G. Then we talk about complexity. I mean, the complexity is there are requirements of quality of service, there are requirements of low latency, there are, there are requirements of uh, uh, security, and then that there are requirements of synchronization. So these are the capabilities of the uh, transport network. Then the fourth is, I think, we're talking about is uh, cost of operations, right, or TCO. So that is that is the another one, and then of course uh, the we have capability, connectivity, uh, complexity. Yeah, complexity is another one. So you need to keep your uh, network simple for the service delivery. So that's in nutshell, and uh, that challenge Ericsson is trying to address with this current launch in the 5G transport. Right. And one thing that I notice, as Ericsson approaches transport, there's very tight integration with the radio business, which is uh, something of a differentiator among infrastructure vendors. Can you maybe explain why that integration is important and how it passes down benefit to your customers? Yeah. So, I think it's a very relevant question. 5G, the <coughs> right performance of radio, as I said, right? The transport needs to be aware of all the architectural requirements as well as the performance requirements of the radio network. And that's where our differentiator is. Because of our knowledge in RAN networks, extensive experience with that, I think we are delivering the same aspects in our transport network, right? So the radio near transport network has to integrate with the radio very closely, tie together for delivery of all the uh, features, functionality, as well as their performance. But we see as we move down uh, towards, you know, the edge and core of the network, then of course the scalability, the performance, the capacity comes into the picture and less and less dependency on the radio network. So some of the features I can tell you is uh, uh, low latency, as I mentioned earlier, as a challenge as well. There are multiple radio interfaces because of, you know, horizontal segmentation of the architecture. The way operators are going to deploy 5G is going to be DRAN, it's going to be CRAN, or it's going to be VRAN, or it's going to be ERAN. So there are multiple architectures, and each architecture have different interfaces uh, which transport network has to support. And then with each architecture, there are going to be certain performance parameters as well, which the transport network has to support. So we call it as a horizontal segmentation. And then we talked about the vertical segmentation, which is the use cases whether the IoT or enhanced broadband experience of the customer. So all this actually is very critical for the transport network to be integrated with the radio network and of course all the way to the 5G core to deliver uh, enhanced user experience and uh, you know, uh, reduce the complexity. So you've really highlighted the important role that transport plays and, and with that I know Ericsson is brought to market with some partners uh, upgrade to the transport portfolio. Maybe you can take us through that? Yeah, sure. I think what we have done is we have launched an end-to-end -end transport solution for 5G, which will be part of our Rickson radio system. It will come as a pre-tested, pre-integrated solution with our radio platforms. So what it is about, it is about our own investments, which we have done into our router 6K platform, our microwave 
uh, Minilink platform as well as our front hall 6000 platform, which is a radio near other end. And this actually is the front hall, the back hall, as well as the aggregation there. Now what we have done is we have leveraged uh, our partnership with Jennifer and ECI to actually complete end-to-end -end portfolio from Ranat to the core. And this is where we are bringing in Juniper's Edge and Core IP transport, which is MX and PDX platform, and then their SRX platform from end-to-end -end security perspective. The underlying optical layer, we have partnered with ECI, which is going to deliver the uh, metro optical layer. And then as we go into the core optical layer, then we already have partnership with CNN and ECI. Now, the beauty of this is that Ericsson Network Management System, which includes the SDN control layer for our, our service orchestration, is going to control all the pieces of in-house development as well as from Juniper and ECI so that customers get a seamless experience. Now, I realize this is a, a relatively new update to the portfolio, but what is the early reaction from your customers been? So I think the reactions, uh, early, early reactions are pretty, pretty good. If we talk about in isolation, the router platform, we already have 60 contracts. We talk about microwave platform, we already have 110 contracts. And with our this partnership with Juniper, uh, you might have heard about we recently Swisscom has announced that we are collaborating with them for their 5G transport. It's based upon Ericsson's uh, router 6K platform integrated with Juniper's core PTX platform and Ericsson's NMS ENM system orchestrating end-to-end -end management and SDN control. That's the already delivered and is a proof point for us and Syscom has announced as a public event. So that's the first proof point and we are working with many other carriers to deliver this. Very good. Well, I'm excited to follow the transport portfolio as it goes to market and sees adoption. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.